So I'm up at 3 in the morning when I have work the next day, which is honestly at 12.30, so it ain't too bad really, but, you know, I'm like, man, I want to rock and lock this thing. And since I can't put ammo through the pipe, that makes me want to do something gun-related. And I'm like, hmm, I saw somebody else made a video uh, where he trimmed a whole bunch out of his magwell to put a drum in, and he had no issues. I don't have any drums. Uh, I'm just going to support my mag as much as I can, but I was thinking, like, all right, well, what if I uh, got rid of as much material on the front and back of the magwell as I can without uh, violating its uh, structural rigidity? And uh, uh, we'll have to put this in and see uh, if we can actually do the rock and lock thing. So uh, I made it worse, actually, and I regret this so far. See how big boy goes. That was awful. Hmm. All right. So, see how it works with the uh, big boys. <sighs> All right. So, bang, 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 bang. Yeah, uh, it fucking sucks. Oh, come on. That one came out all right. What are we hitting on? All right, I can. I see how I can make this a little better. There's a. I think if I take some of the more of this lip off in the front, because the mag's uh, kind of hitting that and not clearing. So I'm going to go in there at the Dremel and slant that out more. All right, that's that, that, that's our new profile now. You see, I just took this bit in my Dremel, this guy here, and I just kind of I put a slant on it and rounded it over. And my hand fitting, like you see where the magazine's hitting the screw and knocking the paint off, uh, which I, that's a good thing. Oh, you can see got all this plastic in the mag well. But I don't care. This Kalashnikov. It's not like these are little metal shavings going to cause problems. This is Kalashnikov. Plastic is practically lubricant. Alright, uh. That is working out pretty well. It's a little rough to put in, but not terrible. I might go through with the Dremel and just kind of flare that edge a bit more, make sure there's a bigger lip to kind of funnel the magazine in place, but yeah. Oh my god, it's rocking locking! <gasps> yes! 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 You know, I've been wanting my Kalashi 12 gauge to do this for so long. Oh, yes! Oh, it's so easy to take the mags in and out now. And we dropped a slug out of this one. Hey, get out the mag, get out the Well, yeah. I think that's a good thing to Satan delivers on anywhere, I mean, you don't really need a chamber and mag in the house. So all my other JTS ideas have been my own, but the tweaking the magwell was actually from uh, this guy. My magwell is cut out differently than his. He's barely got anything there. I figured I would still give it a little bit of side support. Maybe if I get a drum, I'll cut further. But I wanted to get the rock and lock and still have much as much support as possible. Which I did not affect my side port at all, uh, side support at all anyways. I'll demonstrate. See our drum. You can see I didn't. Uh, the side supports here. Because this rib here is what contacts this plastic here and it, 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 this rib runs right along the bottom here so it, it, it just only needs to be enough to, for that rib to contact it because these parts of the mag over here never touch these plastic bits here and uh huh actually you know what that that, that, that thing does still wobble a lot uh I, I i maybe should have done it before and after to see the wobble but Anywhere the magazine touched the magwell, Morty, is uh, still supported, uh, asshole. Anyway, so when I painted my china, I painted everything. I didn't even tape off the inside of the frame. I got paint in the gun. I didn't care, and I, it all got oil chugged out of it anyways. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, you can definitely see I've got paint inside the receiver because I painted that. It don't care. It don't care. 
but you can see where all the frictiony surfaces are so that's where the back catch is that's where it lock, uh, bumps off that thing in the front that pisses me off there's where it actually locks under the gun which is on metal again that lock that locks on your or no wait, wait no this is where it does a bump thing that's where it locks under the catch and uh uh I, I'm not really sure what's hitting there, and we got a little bit of rust here. And if you look here, the outside's a little more clear. Cause, uh, but yeah, look, you can see the uh, nothing down here rubs. So that, in theory, means those 12 gauge mags were always that wobbly. But yeah, yeah, look, cause see, this doesn't play back and forth. Or the, the I guess the larger ones, they're actual JTS. The the five rounds fit differently i mean maybe it's just because they're longer but no 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 they fit differently because if you saw in the earlier clip i was having th these ones fit looser you know what i've had zero issues cycling these mags so i don't care they fit loose i'm happy